It's February 6th, I'm Yona Hockhauser, and this is Geek It, your daily dose of tech news headlines. Today we're looking at the dominance of the Apple Watch, the future of streaming, and more. Let's do it. Geek It. Apple sells a whole lot of iPhones and AirPods, but did you know they sell a hell of a lot of Apple Watches too? According to a new study by Strategy Analytics, Apple sells 31 million units in 2019. That's more watches than the entire Switch watch industry combined, which only managed 21 million units. The problem for traditional watchmakers is that the youngins these days want digital watches that have smart functions, and Apple's just way better at that. And Apple sales are only going up, gaining 36% on the year. Seems like traditional watches are going the way of the dodo. Geek it. When you're on the couch binge watching the latest show on your Netflix for hours, promising yourself just one more episode after every episode, do you even care or even know the codec your TV show or movie is encoded in? Well, listen up, because I'm about to educate you. Ever since 2016, they've been using the VP9 codec. It's good, it's fine, but now together with Amazon, Google, Intel, and some others, a new and better codec has been released. Call AV1, it saves up to 30% on the amount of data used to stream 4K HDR videos. The problem is that not much hardware supports it yet, so Netflix plans on rolling it out slowly, but expect it to take over all the streaming platforms in years to come. Geek it. In another sign of Apple dominance, researchers have found references to a new API that will allow you to control your car, unlock it, and turn it on all with your iPhone or Apple Watch. This was spotted in the first beta version of iOS 13.4. According to internal files, you won't even have to use Face ID or fingerprint scanner. You just simply hold the device near the NFC reader to work, even if it's out of battery. The ability to use your phone is not a new concept. Tesla has been doing it for years, and other car makers are starting to follow the trend, but this is the first time it will work even if your vehicle doesn't have a digital key app. Are the days of digital keys numbered? Yes, yes they are. That wraps up today's edition of Geek It. Until tomorrow, go check us out on Twitter at geek underscore it underscore news. See ya.